Hey there, FTD fan. This is Khalil. I'm here with another video. We're going to take a look at a Muslim journalist that talks to other Muslims about the satanic verses. And I want to see uh, where this kind of conversation goes. It says, and, and it ends badly, right? What could end so badly? And what satanic verses are we talking about? Uh, I did mention that I want to get my hands on a Quran just so I can see all of the uh, all the things that are that are being referenced there was a, a another video that I did um, you can go check it out where somebody was walking around and they disguised the Bible as the Quran and then people were having all kinds of weird reactions and it was pretty cool um, because they could tell that it was the Bible it was uh, but yeah, let's take a look and let's see what this Muslim journalist says. And yeah, let's, let's dive right in. All right, here, let's go. I want to find out how much the world has moved on and assess the strength of feeling 30 years on. I just want your opinion on something. Do you know what that is? No, it's rubbish stuff. Why is it rubbish stuff? Would people be willing today to have a discussion with me about the content of the book? This book? No, I've never heard of it. Tell me what you think about this sentence. Oh, no, you don't want it. No problem. No problem. This is a book by Sam Rushdie, published 30 years ago. Uh -huh. And it's a novel, so it's meant to be a work of fiction. Yeah. yeah. The 15 year old, or Aisha, was the most popular with the paying public, just as her namesake was with Mahmoud. So the prostitutes are named after the, the wives, wives of the prophet. Yeah. He's trying to say it, but at the same time he's trying to not say it. I, I mean, say it like a fiction, well, fiction way. Way. Yeah. Yeah. You don't seem that offended. Do you think it's it's like it's it's up for grabs? It's alright for people to write stuff. No, it's not alright. You don't, no. why, why not? I feel like there should be limits upon what you write and boundaries in order to keep respect. And if that's not met, then I don't really agree with it. I do find it offensive because at the end of the day, if it is about Islam, then that's about my religion. Yeah. And about so many other people's religion, that it's normal for people to find offensive. So there's boundaries. Boundaries and there should be respect and everything between everything that's said and put out there. Oh, is that from my Rushdie? It is. Is that the satanic verses? It is. Do you know oh, it? Yeah, I've got a long history with that. I got rested on them right yet. No way! So were you at the demo here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about the book burning? Did you see that? I was here. Who are you? Have you read it? I've read it. Where are you from? Where am I from? So I'm from Huddersfield. Right. <laughs> live in London. Right. I hope you're holding the same Titanic verses. Do you think I shouldn't be holding it? I'm not, no comment. No. So what you meant when you said where you're from, you meant are you Muslim, didn't you? That's what you meant. Yeah. Yeah. So would it make a difference if I was Muslim? I mean, I am Muslim. But you think as a Muslim, I shouldn't be holding the book? No, no, no. Let me see what the... Will you read this? Then? Yeah, yeah. And will you tell me what you think? Yeah, yeah, I will. You're not going to get angry? No, no. Are you sure? Yeah. How many wives? Twelve and one lady, old lady, long dead. How many whores behind the curtain? Twelve again. Oh. Does that mean anything to you? Yeah, he's a devil worshipper. The curtain is the curtain on the Day of Judgment that he's lifted when he goes to the thing here. And the whores are the the wives, wives the Muslim is up, up in heaven. Is that what he's talking about? Yeah. Come and talk what? to me. Why are you running off? You need educated, brother. I need educate. Come and talk to educate me then. I encountered a wide range of reactions in the square that day. But what about the man who bought the book Salt in Petrol to the square 30 years ago? How does he feel looking back? What do you think the, the legacy is of, of what you did here with the book? The government didn't listen. The book is still there. What it did do is to raise awareness about mm. the feelings of Muslims in the community so that the mm. community of other authors don't write similar book about Muslims. We end up in a similar situation wow. again. So by burning one book, we, what we did was to promote peace at that time. Burning a book. Do you see the kind of contradiction there? Like saying we were promoting peace by burning a book. Yeah. Does that sense that it doesn't trip off the tongue nicely? Do you see that? No, no, I disagree because our aim was not creating 
problem. It was to bring peace in the city. And yes, we burned the book. The feelings of the people were inflamed, non-Muslim, Muslim, Muslim as well, you can say. But then we set the agenda. We said, look, this is our issue. Mm. It is sad, unfortunately, because I feel that the media could have played a better role in handling the situation. And no, but Mom, what I'm really asking is, use, like, using a word like unfortunately suggests it just happened. It didn't just happen. Like, you saw the book in paraffin and set fire to it. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, is there a bit of you that thinks we went too far? Perhaps it inflamed the feeling of uh, people mm. in the community. And if it did do that, we feel sorry for that. We, we didn't intend to cause that feeling, that hurt. Perhaps uh, we, have, we did yeah. go a bit far. Perhaps not. I don't know. There's a sense of reluctant regret yeah. here. But for some, there's also a simmering anger that's as strong now Whoa. as it was 30 years ago. Excuse me, stop looking at your eye. Have you got a second? The author said it's a critique of religion. That's yeah. useful. Is that... Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. You fucking bastard. Come on, man. In the book. Can I have my book back? Fuck you. In the book. No, it's in the book, no. Come on, man. Fuck you. I'm gonna burn this book! Send me! No, send me! Fuck you, it's about our profit! Don't fuck yourself! Go fuck you! Walk out! Shut your mouth right now! Shut your mouth! I knew what the book was about! That's why they want to be bullshit with you! You're recording if we're over BBC media, I don't give a fucking shit! You know you're coming to Bradford, okay? Muslim girl! Trying to say that shit! How's that Muslim girl? I'm from down the road, I'm from Huddersfield! I don't care where you're from! I'm from Muslim girl! You're coming to a Muslim populated area! Trying to say shit about yeah, some of our problems. When you're gonna get a response like that, be prepared. That's all I'm saying. Do you think it's reasonable if someone to grab a book and start ripping it up? Yeah, they can. Yeah, they can. If once if, if you feel offended, you can burn the book. But the question is, what are you gonna do about it then? Have you heard of the satanic verses? No, I'm not. Okay, so okay. it's by an author called Salman Rushdie. I don't want to read the book. I don't want to read the book. So you don't want to read it because what you've heard? Because of what I know. I know who that guy is. I know why he's talking about. It's all bullshit. There you go. Put on BBC Media. You would say I'm the other one, that's my name as well. There you go. Get on my face. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Has he burned it? Where is he? He's actually burned it. Yeah. Where is he burned it? One of them. He's burning on the way. Is he up there? Did you actually see him start a fire? It's got burn marks on it. It's actually, mm. he's actually set fire to it. Wow. You can't see him. I felt really a bit odd walking through the square with the satanic verses, but I did not for a second think someone was going to get so offended mm, but still. that they'd grab it out of my hand and set fire to it. We're talking about something that happened 30 years ago. To understand that level, that kind of visceral response, I don't get it. I do not get it. I keep looking over my back because I think he's going to come back in a second. I felt offended by parts of this book. That does not mean I want to shut down discussion. That does not mean I want to argue and fight with people. It does not mean that I want to curb someone else's rights. I was not expecting that, not even a little bit. He was fully, like, he could have been hurt by that. There was, the, that guy had so much rage. The satanic verses, like, now I must admit, I am curious to know what what's in that book. So to my understanding from, from the video, there are um, persons mentioned um, in the Quran that were given other names that were depicted in not the best of lights and you know it is disrespectful you know picking up and naming someone i mean mind you the bible has lots of scandalous people that do all kinds of crazy stuff but like i you know i, I can i can understand the, the part of the conversation where my friend would just be like why are you coming to agitate and aggravate bro like why are you 
you know, and then the argument is, it's my freedom of speech to come down here and to talk about whatever it is that I want. That is a rough, man. It kind of rubbed me a little funny-ish, to be honest. But hey, this is 2022 and this is what we do, eh? Thanks, guys. I appreciate you. That's something in the comments. Let me know what you think about um, my friend here walking around with, with, with those, those verses and trying to get people to respond and react to it. All right? Guys, thanks again for watching with me. Really appreciate it. This is Khalil signing out. Take care and be good.